everyone welcome back to my channel if you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel this is the place where you can learn microsoft intune or any mobile technologies and you can also learn about this mobile operating system or windows or mac operating systems so if you are uh, working as a consultant or a or an engineer in on your organization or as a freelancers this is a place where you can learn and be expert in this video i am going to say you how microsoft has introduced why Microsoft has introduced a new enrollment method for staging as you can see on my screen for corporate Android devices with Microsoft Intune. So this is the new enrollment method they gonna be released with the in the May 2405 service release. So you can check the service release in your Microsoft Intune tenant. If you go to the tenant status, you will see the tenant uh, service release versions, right? So uh, in June May 2405 service release, Microsoft is introducing new enrollment method which is called device staging for the following Android enterprise devices. So staging method will gonna be released only for these two profiles. Like if you have a company on Android fully managed devices or company on work profile devices, right? Either it's a fully managed or company on work profile devices. So if you are managing your company on Android devices using any of these two method, you, you can use the device staging for new enrollment, right? And this new method actually, which is actually going to be simplifies the enrollment experience for the frontline workers, optimizing their productivity by reducing the time spent on setup the Android devices. You can learn more, uh, the token type right uh, about this how you can set up the fully enrolled devices microsoft article is there i'm not going to that but what is the device staging maybe you're wondering what is the device staging and how is the enrollment method different so currently the enrollment process for the company on devices use a default enrollment token and is it's completed in two stages first by the admin and then users the admin initiate the enrollment process, create the enrollment token, right? And then share it with the users through the articles or through any other medium, right? Or the email. Then the users sign into the, their Android devices using their corporate credentials and navigate through all the uh, on-screen prompts, provisioning steps to complete the enrollment with the Intune. So this new method staging token which is actually going to be introduced with 2405 service release by the microsoft this new enrollment method staging token the enrollment is completed in three stages instead of two so first by admin second by an admin or third party vendor and then users so there is three right so microsoft is saying you can simplify the process but you see the staging token that is a three steps first you admin will configure generate the token and then third party vendor or or by admin and then users so in the staging enrollment experience an admin in the second stage an admin initiate the process create the enrollment token and then share the device staging token with the third party vendor or an admin then the provisioning steps are completed by the third party and then device remain userless throughout the vendor stage and become user affiliated and ready to use only at the last step when the user so it, it's a kind of uh, uh, if you have managing apple business manager similar like this one or maybe you can say uh, nox management or like zero touch enrollment it's a similar like i i can say it's related to the apple business manager it's as a like staging right or like if you are having a windows um, autopilot similar like that like just vendor will onboard third party vendor will onboard that and they will complete all these steps and the remind the devices actually will remain userless throughout the vendor stays and become user affiliated and ready for the use so once user will get that those devices they can directly sign in and the, with their credentials and the devices will get enrolled so it's like abm or autopilot you can say with this method which is actually nice full nice right this staging method with this method more work is done by the vendor admin as they perform the enrollment of the devices because they will be doing the staging 
they, they will go through the steps to the complete Google registration, get the device ready while the organizations uh, while your organization apps are automatically installed in the background on the devices, right? During staging, all those applications, like if you have seen the autopilot, uh, it will get installed. If you are configuring the ABM, it will silently go get installed while enrolling the devices. So it's a similar like that. ABM is more seamless, but it's kind of autopilot with the third party like Dell provisioning auto Dell provisioning. So how you can get started? You can always go to the Microsoft admin center. And if you go to the devices here, you will see the Android and uh, you can go to the Android enrollment and you can select the these two uh, corporate on dedicated devices and corporate on fully managed user devices. So th this is the only two method corporate on or fully managed user devices or corporate on with the work profile. So this one, these three are there, right? Right. So you can select on any of these, these and create a new profiles. Once you click that, you'll create a new profiles here. You'll see the options. If you have a, have you access to that, you can create a profile and you'll see a uh, similar like here. Let me let me zoom it this screen so once you create this profile you have to give name like anything and then select the token type so in the token type you'll see corporate on fully managed devices staging corporate on fully managed default or the, here it's a staging similar like corporate on fully managed via staging and then token type and then token expiry expiration date you have to select it right so here you can select 24 hours or 48 hours depend on your on your choice and then you can create a dynamic groups and you can apply so what will be the actions performed by the third party if you are so vendor unbox the devices pull, pull put the battery in and turn on vendor goes to the enrollment process right so sign in out of box experience of the devices using the qr code which actually you have generated being as an intune admin and you will share with the vendor Right, so at the vendor stage end at the home screen and the work profile get created similar like this. The device is turned off and given to the users. So it's, a, it's just a like pre-staging, right? They just staging like if you're configuring Apple devices through Apple configurator, it's a similar like that. So on, on the device and it's just a user have to turn on and sign in with their credentials. Same screen that don't require any user to skip, you can check this here and you can monitor the devices while going the staging you can go to the devices and all devices here and you can monitor here right all this configuration device enrollment failure and all everything you can monitor there so when user has not completed you can see all this screen or this article this is how they they release this uh, new staging method so try this if you have been managing your Android devices. Till then, thank you. Have a good day.